All right, listen, we're ready for the last daily debrief of the week. Happy Thursday. Uh, yesterday, you know, we talked about uh, kind of just the mid month where we're at currently. Also, uh, piggybacked on some of the goods and the bads. And I wanted to kind of continue that conversation, um, you know, talking about the, the, you know, positives and negatives that we see or that I see. You know, I came from you know, the independent side of things, right? My, my other agency is 1099 based, is 100%, you know, independent agents, which is a beautiful thing, right? Uh, the downside right out of the gate with that is that there is literally no minimum to what somebody can make. So they can make zero or they can make 100,000. And because of that, we saw a ton of turnover on that side compared to, uh, we saw low turnover as far as the industry standard, uh, but compared to the turnover that we have in the Medicare agency, it is uh, really night and day. So that's one of the, you know, kind of pluses and minuses right there. But the other things that I want to talk about is kind of the predictability, the scalability, the hours that my agents are working, when the calls are coming in, the fact that agents don't have to pay for leads. And all of these are super positive things that we see on the you know, W2 call center model. Um, having a blast with it. Just got off the phone with uh, Matt Temin yesterday, talked about him a little bit. You know, it's like pulling levers. You know, we really get to, um, you know, we really get to operate the business from a, um, you know, a, a position of, you know, hey, we need uh, to do better on QA scores. Boom, we can pull that lever and, and literally focus on that because we know when our employees are gonna be here. We know uh, when they are gonna be taking calls. We know when we can have our trainings. We know what they're doing because everything is recorded. Every, I mean, it's just, it's very well managed, right? Um, so I say all that to say, what I would like to do, what my heart is, and my, my big passion project, if you will, is to bring, be able to bring a lot of the positive things that we have uh, on the W2 call center side to the 1099 independent space. And kind of the highlight of today was meeting with an organization that's going to help uh, bring that to light. So we, over the next, I, I won't even put a timeline on it just to uh, be safe, but over the next coming months, weeks, days, years, who knows, uh, we are going to roll out a program where the same calls, not the same calls, right? Because you don't want to be talking to the same clients my, client, my agents are talking to, but we're going to roll out a pro program where the same, um, you know, volume of calls, the same quality of calls that my agents are taking day in and day out to average two or three sales a day every single day and 10 to 15 to 20 sales a week every single week, right, are going to be, uh, you know, in the hands of independent agents out there. So we're going to roll out two programs um, down the road. Again, no, no timeline, just kind of pre uh, pre sharing this where an agent literally has the ability to connect with our marketing and just our marketing or and pay for those you know calls uh data leads what, whatever uh type of marketing we have in there right i don't want to uh, overshare but uh be able to plug in and take the the leads that they need with or without contracts right um obviously we want to be able to provide the same level of you know, quality calls, the quality volume uh, to independent agents out there as we have here. But our real goal is that we would contract with us as well. So we want to grow that 1099 side of things. And we have a platform now to be able to do it. That's not going to pull calls directly from my agency, right? My internal agents, because obviously that would be, uh, you know, challenging, difficult, and, and obviously probably lose me some money, right? My agency here, Signature, is very predictable. We know when agents are gonna be here, we know when they're taking calls, we know what states are licensed in. On an independent side, that's a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna put those tools in the hands of those independent agents to potentially be able to uh, take the same calls and, and you know do a lot of the same stuff that we're doing here, but on an independent 1099 model. So just a little preview, that was the highlight of my day. Um, really everything coming together. It'll be some time till we announce any kind of details on it, wanna really map it all out. Uh, we're not just hyping this up. This is actually something that, you know, my heart is in big time. I think I've shared it before. I wanna build an opportunity, right? With, my, with all of the agencies, this isn't like just centered around one agency, one product line. We're not even talking Medicare specific. We're not even talking, we're talking insurance in general. And we're talking uh, uh, an opportunity, my heart, right, is to create an opportunity that we can help an agent from basically infancy in their career, which means 
They don't, they just got their license. They don't have an experience. They need training. They need marketing. They need leads. They need, they need support. They need, you know, someone to answer their questions. They need a lot, right? Infancy, right? Think of the baby stages. You need uh, to be fed. You need to be changed. You need all that stuff, right? All the way to whatever the, the, the top level stage, agency owner, right? Independent agent, whatever that looks like. We wanna be able to create an opportunity that facilitates that agent from infancy all the way to you know, the apex of whatever that particular agent wants to accomplish. And this is helping us get one step closer. Doing that is much easier said than done. And this certainly isn't going to solve that problem, but it does get us one step closer to my ultimate goal, which is to create that type of an opportunity. So stay tuned, we'll talk more about it, but that's the daily debrief for this Thursday. We'll see you next week.